नमस्कार गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन आई एम चिन्मय खड़के फ्रॉम इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट एंड आई वेलकम यू टू दिस वीकली वेदर डिस्कशन वीडियो वेयर वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग द वेदर दैट वॉज ऑब्जर्व ड्यूरिंग पास्ट वीक एज वेल एज द वेदर एक्सपेक्टेड ड्यूरिंग नेक्स्ट वीक द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट फीचर दैट वॉज ऑब्जर्व ड्यूरिंग दिस वीक इज बिगिनिंग ऑफ द विड्रॉवल ऑफ साउथ वेस्ट मॉनसून एज यू कैन सी as per the predictions of imd the southwest monsoon has withdrawn from some parts of southwest rajasthan on 25th of september this for withdrawal of this monsoon there is some criteria that is considered that includes the anti cyclonic circulation at lower tropospheric levels cessation of rainfall in that particular region for continuous 5 days as well as absence of any water vapor or moisture that is observed in the satellite imagery so as you can see depicted by this white region over the map this is the area that is the districts of jaisalmer adjoining pokhran and this region the monsoon has withdrawn from this part on 25th of september apart from this point in last week the synoptic features that were observed is the main synoptic feature that was seen was the remnant of low pressure area which had a slow movement over the eastern parts of the country then there was a monsoon trough which was to the south of its normal position there was another trough from the low pressure area to the uh, konkan or maharashtra and there was another a feeble wd that affected northwest india during this week because of this slow movement of remnant of low pressure area over the eastern region we received very good amount of rainfall heavy to very heavy and in some cases extremely heavy rainfall was received over bihar also adjoining states of chatisgarh vidarbha maharashtra and kokan all this region received very good amount of rainfall during last week if we look at the heavy or very heavy rainfall it was observed again you can see over the central parts eastern parts and adjoining parts of western maharashtra during this week if we look at the extremely heavy rainfall category the bihar on 22nd september as well as 23rd september some stations over bihar received extremely heavy rainfall as well as it was observed on 23rd september over uttar pradesh one station over uttar pradesh if we look at the monsoon update weekly monsoon update then as you can see in the last three weeks of uh, that is of Uh, weeks of september we have received good amount of rainfall this is all india rainfall so first week received plus 16 uh, percentage followed by 44% and then finally the last week 32% so as you can see because of this rainfall that was observed during september the deficiency in all india rainfall has decreased and now it stands at minus 6 percentage of normal if we look at the weekly rainfall that was observed during last week because of the trough as well as the moment uh, slow movement of this low pressure system most of the part of eastern india central india as well as parts of western india that is maharashtra this part received very good amount of rainfall during this week as you can see the red colors that indicate low amount of rainfall that was observed over the northwest india as well as parts of northeast india which is nagaland manipur mizoram and tripura if we look at the seasonal picture then as a country as a whole this uh, region that is parts of uh, eastern india which include east uttar pradesh bihar jharkhand and gangetic west bengal it received uh, Uh, deficient rainfall along with nagaland mizoram manipur and tripura otherwise rest of india most of the parts of india has received uh, normal rainfall during season as a whole if we look at the exact figures during last week country as a whole received 47 mm of rainfall against the normal of 35.5 that is positive departure of 32% so uh, if we look at 
the homogeneous regions apart from the northwest india rest of the homogeneous regions like east northeast india central and south peninsula received very good amount of rainfall during last week if we look at the seasonal figures for the all india level then we have rainfall of 809 mm against the normal of 857.5 mm so that is a departure of minus 6% as of now for all india if we look at the synoptic features that are seen today then there are uh, there is a cyclonic circulation over west central bay of bengal followed by another cyclonic circulation of coast tamil nadu and couple of circulations one over coastal karnataka and another over northern parts of madhya maharashtra there is a shear line uh, passing roughly along 15 degree latitude and there is a feeble western disturbance that is seen over pakistan so this cyclo cyclonic circulation over west and east central bay of bengal it is uh, likely to become more marked it is it is likely to become well marked low pressure area and it is expected to move north eastwards towards north odisha and adjoining west bengal during the next 48 hours if we look at the weather warnings for next 5 days then you can see for first 3 days the warnings are mostly confined to the western coast of india that is over konkan adjoining madhya maharashtra the coastal karnataka in the first 3 days along with the andaman and nicobar this andaman and nicobar islands are also likely to receive very heavy rainfall during next 3 days the as uh, the week will progress the eastern parts of india are likely to get more rainfall from 30th onwards like the states of odisha and adjoining states of chatisgarh Gang gangetic west bengal as well as jharkhand the odisha is expected to receive very heavy rainfall during first and second of october in the that is the next week in the first month of october for forecast of week 1 we can see that the conditions are becoming favorable for fur further withdrawal of southwest monsoon from some more parts of northwest and adjoining west central india during next 2 to 3 days because of this you can see we are expecting very low amounts of rainfall or rather dry uh, days over the northwest part during most of the uh, days during this week the eastern parts uh, are likely to receive a good amount of rainfall but the most important part is the western coast as well as the andaman and nicobar islands which are likely to receive heavy to very heavy rainfall during this week as you can see in the uh, this picture which shows the anomaly of rainfall it also indicates very high amount of rainfalls over western coast andaman and nicobar islands Uh, and also over some parts of eastern india and adjoining central india like chatisgarh east mp adjoining parts of southeast up as well as bihar if we look at week 2 then the conditions are likely to become further favorable for withdrawal of southwest monsoon from gujarat and some parts of maharashtra so as you as it in it is indicated here the white portion that indicates the uh, cessation of rainfall that is expected in the week 2 over this region in uh, apart from this region the northeastern region are uh, mostly likely to receive heavy rainfalls during week 2 as you can see in the anomaly map also you can see that most of the positive anomaly is seen over the northeastern states where we are likely to receive very good amount of rainfall along with some parts of andaman and nicobar island during week 2 for cyclogenesis for week 1 there is no for both the weeks there is no probability of cyclogenesis however there is a likelihood of a formation of low pressure area over parts of east central bay of bengal and adjoining area during first half of week 2 and a low probability of cyclogenesis is seen over the entire region that is all from india meteorological department today do follow us on our uh, so apps 
as well as our Twitter uh, handles, Instagram handles, as well as YouTube channels. Thank you. If we look at week two, then the conditions are likely to become further favorable for withdrawal of southwest monsoon from Gujarat and some parts of Maharashtra. So as you as it in, it is indicated here the white portion that indicates the uh, cessation of rainfall that is expected in the week two over this region in uh, apart from this region the northeastern region are uh, mostly likely to receive heavy rainfalls during week two as you can see in the anomaly map also you can see that most of the positive anomaly is seen over the northeastern states where we are likely to receive very good amount of rainfall along with some parts of Andaman and Nicobar Island during week 2. If we look at the probability of cyclogenesis forecast for next two weeks then there is no probability of cyclogenesis over entire North Indian Ocean for next two weeks. That is all from India Meteorological Department today. Do follow us on our uh, so apps as well as our Twitter uh, handles, Instagram handles as well as YouTube channels. Thank you.